Sticks and stones will break his bones, but words will never hurt him. Well, that's what his mum said. And maybe if the world helped him believe these hollowed out words, he wouldn't have ended up dead. You see, he was a loving, happy kind of person you'd want to interact with. He was on the phone at the time, lost in conversation with his boyfriend, totally distracted, until he noticed a young girl being tormented by some older men. They treated her like a toy, referring to her as Barbie, but none of them were her Ken. So he shouted at them, leave her be. And two minutes later, he was nowhere to be seen. So they came up behind him, threw blows to his head, stabbed him four times, screaming hatred while he lay on his deathbed. The very last words he heard had already killed him inside. And as the dreams bled away and life drained from his eyes, he was gay and he was black. The murderer said in court with no remorse about the attack. He probably held his boyfriend's hand in public. The judge looked at me and the jury and I was utterly disgusted. He saved me that day and there was no reason for him to die. Hatred in homophobic, racist eyes left a whole nation mourning solemn cries. Just to think, this all could have been stopped. No abuse, no violence, no torment, the lot. If people were taught to not look at his skin, care who he sleeps with, just care what's within. Fall in love with people's eyes, gateways to the souls. Listen to people's wisest words and write them in historic scrolls. And I'm not being unreasonable. This isn't some social test, because I hate crime and hate crime makes me angry and distressed. Isn't it time we put hate crime under arrest?